I knew that those missions weren't the fan favorites um, coming out of Spider-Man 1. We knew we had to make her more of a proactive, capable person. And if she's a little OP, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. It's important to have her be a capable hero. You know, this might sound cliche or whatever, or cheesy, but like you don't need to have powers to be a hero. In the original plan, she wasn't a playable character in the last mission, but we thought, hey, can we get all three of them working as a team in that final mission? So at the very end, she's there. But yeah, she's OP, I probably, she's probably OP. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I don't care. And if she's a little OP, I don't give a shit. I like to think of the guy with the with the light as like the developers coming into this clearly specifically lit room with a flashlight. Why is it so dark in here? Turn off the lights. I, really I don't care. <laughs> uh, are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? I'm sure. By the end of the game, I'm sure it'll be something that Miles can handle by himself. Okay, class. You like that, dear? Uh, read chapter yeah. four. I haven't been talking to you about okay. what I should have been talking to you about, Pete. That body language is gay. Uh, Pete. I got this. All of it. Was he a gangster now? The new normal. The new normal. The new normal. The new normal. Hello, beta testers. While playing the Spider-Man 2 game, one thing kept coming up in my chat, and it's an irrefutable truth. Insomniac Games doubled down on the Mary Jane missions that people hated. There are now five of them. But they got rid of the cops that Kotaku, Polygon, and the gamer tier air quotes games journalists were complaining about. These journalists loved the kinds of things that kill every out-of-touch slop that is pushed out of the industry's cheeks these days, and for people unaware of whom the types writing these kinds of Stacy Henley editor-in-chief of the gamer articles are, they're the types that would agree with insomniac whitewashing Spanish to suit their idea of progressive, even though the Latino community has stated time and time again that they hate this Latinx garbage. I keep reiterating, on its own, maybe this wouldn't come off as cancerous as it is, but I've shown in other videos that the pandering reaches unbelievable levels. You gotta see it to believe it levels of woke. There are five playable Mary Jane sequences in this game. Five normal human Mary Jane sequences in the $70 superhero games story. I deserve to be able to repeat this over and over with a picture of the writer who the character MJ resembles harder than the damn actress that they hired, but this wouldn't be the first time another main writer would just happen to bear a resemblance so unbelievably strong that we would tear it as striking, a striking resemblance. Her scream transformation when Mary Jane gets the symbiote is hands down an enhancement, and I'm not even into tendrils. And to hacks writing garbage these days, I'm sure that makes me a bigot. Preference makes me a bigot, and description is hate, right? The biggest controversy surrounding Spider-Man that devs, voice actors, and even the community manager who blocked me was forced to chime in on following outrage was that Insomniac Games found Peter too old and ugly, so they changed him to look younger. A man so younger. But Mary Jane? was not regarded as ugly enough, so Insomniac Games aged her up and gave her the typical modern gaming female chin, so older, uglier, flatter chest, because she's a woman. A cisgender woman. Mary Jane voiced by Laura Bailey also voiced Black Widow in Crystal Dynamics Avengers game, a game so bad it's now delisted. But Black Widow also had a far quad chin because modern gaming and ESG design thought that they could get away with it. But after pushback, they relented and diminished it. Pushback in gaming is the reason we don't currently have paid mods. 
But before I leave the Mary Jane face topic, since I actually recognize the public sentiment that Insomniac Games is now ignoring, I'll say it again. People aren't just disgusted by what used to be a bombshell now being a beasting blobfish. It's that you not only brought her from this to this in a single game when no time has passed, but she's a decade older minimum when Parker objectively looks younger. We are well past gaslighting now, beta testers. They're gonna have to start demanding that you ignore your eyes. Do you think these heavy-handed indoctrination attempts will go well for them? This, just like Insomniac's racism in changing a language, is scumbag territory and demonstrates inequality and hypocrisy more so than erasing all that woke shit for their Middle Eastern release, the release that's going to be more popular when this all comes to PC. If Mary Jane has to be ugly, then Mystique the shapeshifter can be ugly too. She's a woman after all, a racist studio soaked in ESG garbage, waving the banner of exclusion and inequality could not make an X-Men game if their life depended on it. And I don't want them to. Spider-Man 2's story has Peter and Miles tugging for screen time with a hilariously underdeveloped and slapped together Venom finale, but there's also time for five Mary Jane portions. That's necessary in a superhero game because this game needs strong woman who uses stealth like in The Last of Us who also shit the bed in its sequel. Mary Jane is a boss bitch in this game and, and she gets the symbiote and becomes unhinged. Care to guess which boss has the most phases in Spider-Man 2? It's Mary Jane. Do you know why she has the most phases of any boss? It's because the writers had a lot to say during Mary Jane's unhinged portion, and they had a lot of things they wanted Spider-Man to apologize for, too. Done begging for validation! From you! From anyone! Validation? If this is about your job! It's about me! Hey! Not my job or this stupid house! And for once, not about you! About me! I'm finally in control! I am in complete control! Always about you! You can't keep a job! You can't pay the mortgage! There's only one job you care about! Spider-Man! What would the city do without Spider-Man? I always come second! I live in your shadow where my dreams turn to shut! You do make a difference! What you do matters! Remember your book? You said you want to help people! Nobody read it! I write words I don't believe in for a man I despise! So you can be happy! I didn't realize! I'm sorry, MJ! I was wrong! You don't have to trust me! You're right! I've been selfish! I was so wrapped up in my own life, I never thought about yours! You just want to stay the stronger half! No! You're stronger than me in so many ways! I'm sorry, MJ! I took you for granted! I'm sorry I caused you so much pain! The house! My job! Our life together! I promised you I'd be better, but I wasn't! I should've listened! I should've been there! We're a team! Mary Jane! That particle accelerator's what damaged it in the first place. Oh, what if? Piece at low but what if we right, were so to... What if we crank the Oh, God! Up, like, way past 11. What would the city do without Spider-Man? Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? Do you? <laughs> I don't know. The city needs you! I need you! Your dreams are just as important as mine! I never want your life to be worse, to make mine better! Go fuck yourself. One of Mary Jane's writers looks like this. And that team of writers wrote Mary Jane to not only be a Mary Sue that needs to be in most of the story, but Macho Man Mary the Jaw Jane and her eye roll worthy plot armor was amusingly written to be irrationally bitchy, angry, and to blame Peter when she was well aware he was under the control of an alien symbiote. Maybe this is great writing for your average 40 year old plus woman, but I'm guessing this portrayal was not deliberate. So, comedically, 
untalented hack writers trying to empower women by making them overpowered demonstrate their lack of experience by also showcasing how Mary Jane could defy reason even when equipped with information that should have given she her the clarity to act rationally but nope Pursuing her selfish desire to get attention as a reporter, Mary Jane takes the easy way out and literally needs the shit kicked out of her to come to her fucking senses. Write what you know, I guess? Spider-Man 2 is boring. <laughs> I realized that when I was done and saw that there were entire stretches of the game where I didn't save a single clip, not because I was so engrossed and immersed in the story, but because I didn't consider any of what was happening clip worthy. I found myself constantly talking over the game to drown out the apologies from Peter Parker whom I knew the writers only saw as a cisgender white man to be swept aside by the conclusion of the game and I was right. It's the same caliber garbage that killed the MCU and killed the comic book industry. Manga and anime dominate, but the Tumblr refugees on Elon Musk's X are so offended by heterosexuality, even in a video game, because they hate their own existence. And maybe we would too if we were stuck in bodies we hated with Christian brain, but they're forced to live every day knowing that they are the product of heterosexual love. Cis genders enabled their lives. And this is the thanks they give us? Soon Eastern games will penetrate and hollow you out. All that gay propaganda is just gonna come dribbling out of your modern gaping a hole. These developers are so desperate to signal, they're bent over that barrel cheek spread and every objectively appealing thing that we would buy for a dollar is going to be deemed toxic by losers. So scared of Stellar Blade's jiggly booty that they'd write 50 articles. So people taking pictures of my videos and signal boosting me need to realize I learned this from watching you. It's okay when you do it, but not other people. That sounds real Wall Street, motherfucker. Forgot GameStop already, did you? Spider-Man 2 isn't just the most woke game of the year, it's the most woke game out. In this superhero game, you will not be delivering pizzas to beat a time limit or fun mini games like that. You'll be playing as a deaf black girl, graffitiing poems about racism. You'll play as Mary Jane in five missions. You'll be matchmaking gay Indian guys with their same-sex partners for homecoming. Hostages you rescue are telling Spider-Man about their gay boyfriends, a pride flag. All of this shit got removed for the Middle Eastern version, by the way, so literally any Marvel fan playing through this would have loved quick cameos or references to other Marvel heroes, but instead... There's five Mary Jane portions. Avengers Tower, the Sanctum Sanctorum, references to Rand Industries are all over the three Spider-Man games that Insomniac has released. Can you guess whether Doctor Strange, Iron Fist, or any Avenger appears in this game? If you guessed no but Mary Jane, <laughs> then you're right. My favorite part? of Matt Stone and Trey Parker's Panderverse South Park event is when they visit the other universes. I won't spoil it. But in one genius gag, they effortlessly summarize the feeling of disappointment. The problem isn't that our expectations were too high. The problem is that we had expectations at all. You know this meme? It applies. At the very least, we hoped for Spider-Man, but we got Spider-Cock pushed aside from Miles and MJ in his second game. Every single player of this game will have had more fun in free roam and in the playable Venom portions than they will the entire story. And Insomniac Games doesn't even understand to put a Venom mission button on the main fucking menu after a person completes the game. This is your highlight, bitch. You think people are trying to suffer through your game just to make it to this one point? God bless the talent handling the gameplay and putting a single woman in a skirt in the game because the entities hired as writers and designers drag the whole team down like low kill death ratio players found specifically to weigh your team down in an SBMM shooter. I got the Twitter cult's attention recently and the Tumblr refugees on Elon Musk's site considered a panty shot of these virtually assembled polygons a literal violation of the law. They then proceeded to tell me I'm the virgin? 
which is funnier than anything that I kind of went through in this game. So even mommy and daddy's money, Mudahar needed a piece of the attention retweeting me. But did you know, even this clown normie considered Spider-Man 2 mid? What do you think that means for Spider-Man's future? All this pandering has signaled that the same poison that killed the comics and killed the movies is enveloping this property like a symbiote. You're probably so bored of hearing me say that they're taking the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park, but observe, Spider-Man 2 pushed THE Spider-Man out of the game to focus on Mary Jane and the Lord and Savior Black Jesus Christ himself, Miles Morales. The most offensive thing about this game is that the wannabe writers could not turn whatever ugly, sad, lonely, miserable, and clearly angry motivation they had into art. This is the definition of no talent. Even with the help of an entire talented studio, the writing could not be elevated. It is AIDS. By the end of this game, I felt exhausted and genuinely dirty. And for a man as filthy as all straight men are supposed to be, how can this even be possible? Spider-Man is an okay game for the me to poop on, but it looks like they're gonna have to break it so that they can move on before we're gonna be able to go back in and fix it. I think it takes a special kind of stupid to screw up properties that have been around well before you were born, but Dia said something to me while I was playing through it that really just put things in perspective. In comics, there are truths so absolute that if a panel opens and this isn't the case, you can instantly tell it's a different universe, like seeing Batman's parents alive. Mary Jane is hot. Jameson hates Spider-Man. But writing these days is so lazy that instead of at least creating a new universe or a new character, they try to change the main character, the, the main universe. If Jameson started loving Miles Morales specifically, that wouldn't even be crazy considering how shit the writing is in these games. When there's a lack of creativity and a lack of imagination, you end up with lazy garbage like this. So, Captain America, but he's Hydra now. Electro may not be in this game, but Mary Jane's face is shocking. Hulk may not be in this game, but call him because this is an abomination. Heterosexuals may not feel represented in this game, but Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie does, thanks to Macho Man, Massive Jaw, Beasting, Blobfish, Face It Tiger, this self-insert hit the crack pipe, Mary Jane. I wish all the untalented people who have managed to slither their way into productions elevated because of the actual talent, all the success they have coming to them. I would have paid $40 for a free roam Spider-Man game, unlock some suits, play some side missions. But it's an actual shame that I need mods to toggle on the ability to randomly encounter Black Cat, Martin Lee, Venom, Harry as Agent Venom post-game when I'm just fighting in the city. It could even be a different fucking dimension. Spider-Man feels like a game struggling against self-imposed restrictions. You can do whatever you want, but instead Insomniac Games, you chose to double down and disappoint over 20 fucking moments where I'm just asking myself, can I can I just play Spider-Man? Because now Spider-Man is properly trapped in a Sony movie game that keeps pausing until you press the right button in the quick time event. Contrived sequences ignoring Spider-Man's spider sense and super heroic abilities only to grant that power fantasy to a literal human? It's unbelievable. Spider-Man 2 is a 6 out of 10, an absolute embarrassment that I'm thankful for because if Sony and ESG can treat Spider-Man like this, they'll do it to any fucking property. When the director has the Saints Row developer audacity to look in the faces of the paying fans and say, I don't care about your feedback, I regard all of this as a gift in helping emphasize a truth so bright that they'll be able to see it and feel it with their eyes closed. Insomniac Games, you're racist and you're rapists. You deceived fans of Spider-Man with a switcheroo. Because even though some of you are as dumb as you are untalented, even you're aware that no one will buy Mary Jane the video game. Not enough to justify its development, not enough to profit. So you had to 
hide five Mary Jane portions in a Spider-Man game. Just like Avengers was quiet about Kamala Khan, just like Gotham Knights was quiet about 30 FPS, Mary Jane is the STD that Insomniac knew not to divulge. If only they would embrace the masculinity they fantasize about having enough to resist emotions and recognize that Twitter activists are not a profitable demographic. History will situate these people where it situates them, and I'm sorry for this running on this long. I love you. You know, I was out of the mood to do this before I even began it, so I love you. The next one will be fun. Time of your lives. I think you have more energy than I do. Me and my boyfriend, so, Harry. What's been keeping you busy? I can't believe Just, he's alive. Teaching, between getting fired. Ooh. I've also been tutoring a high school kid. He's... I'm fucking gay Reminds now. Me, actually. <laughs> Remember <laughs> when the sand was all the over the help. city? Why are there hey, no cars in the street? Boss, Dr. Octavius. What if I tried to hit these people? <laughs> That's one way to put it. Yeah. This bitch got a force field. I guess she, she is a superhero too. Perry, me and my boyfriend, we riding, dude. Life is strange. Do you guys have like locks or is this like a special kind of make-believe New York so it's all fine? It'd be pretty funny if Miles Morales showed up and took them bikes and said, better learn to lock them. He's teaching everybody a lesson. That's what a real hero does. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you better lock up your bikes.